Harvey. 2 Boy and 6 FM Radio for Ellum, Community Radio for West Hearts. Now local author of Will and Garden City joins us now, Robert Fowler. And uh, a book just coming out very soon is Flood, which is uh, by Robert. Welcome to the programme. Good morning. Morning. Hi. Right, now this, this is very interesting. I, I haven't read the book, but I've looked through the back cover and it tells us uh, roughly what it's all about. Um, and I, uh, I, I kind of understand. I mean, it's, it's got a bit of a, a love story in there mixed with plumbing and uh, Florence. Go on, <laughs> then you tell me what it's all about. Yeah, I don't know where the plumbing comes from. But, uh, yeah, it's, it's basically, I've said it in Florence in 1966, which is a true event where the city was flooded and basically put fictional characters within it. And, yeah, it is a bit of a love story, but not really. It's more an infatuation. Yeah. And well, the plumbing bit, I bet you, was the flooding. I mean, that happens because of bad plumbing, doesn't it? <laughs> uh, no, basically it was about... It was like being in England. It yeah. Was probably six weeks of rain and suddenly the whole city... Um, there's a tragic side to it because there was quite a few people killed and at the same time you've got 500 years of history was actually lost with books that were 500 years old um, in the mud and everything that came through so now you know why I said plumbing in there because Because you're a plumber aren't you well I run a plumber's (laughs) merchant and everybody that's connected with me puts that together and they think yeah flood some of my plumbers Some of, some of the plumbers that I supply probably have had a few floods themselves. Well, that's right, haven't we all? <laughs> OK, so what was what was really the inspiration behind this, though? Just give us a bit more of the background there. Well, basically, my mum comes from Florence. It took me a long time to go to Florence, but I just fell in love with Florence. It's a lovely place. So Isn't it just, yeah? I just wanted to set a book. I tried, I've written for a, for a while without anything being published, so... It just so happened that I thought I'll set something in Florence, set it at a, a real event, um, because my mum's family were there when it was happened. They still live in Florence, so I got to speak to them, and away I went. And then the story really just went from there. It's uh, it's something that uh, I've always wanted to do, but it's taken a long time to get the story out. Yeah, my my first memory or my memory of um, Florence visiting um, years ago now with my wife um, is something similar to the picture there, but not quite so flooded. But certainly walking, parking outside the city uh, central, walking over maybe that bridge or a similar one, and then you're in the the thick of it. But um, then immediately somebody trying to snatch her handbag, but they didn't manage to get away with it. But um, You've got to watch it there, haven't you, now uh, No, the same, the same <laughs> thing's happened to me. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, the city... I, I mean, I, I, I went there in my late 30s for so the first time. I really regret it. But at the same time, I think when, it's a city that if you're a little bit older, you appreciate a little bit better. It's not a youngster's city, as you probably appreciate yourself. Yeah. It's, yeah. It, you go around, so many things to see, so many sights, but I think if I was... 18, 19, 20, 25, I think I would find it maybe not as interesting. And I know that sounds silly, but it's far better appreciated. It's like a wine, it gets better as you get older. Well, there's there's an incredible amount of um, historical buildings to go over. Oh, yeah. Um, and also um, some absolutely amazing, expensive, though, shops. And if you want <laughs> to pay a few grand for a handbag, you can quite easily find one there, uh, can't you? yeah. Even a Not that I coffee. have a handbag, but... <laughs> uh, even a cup of coffee will set you back a few, Bob. Yeah, I know, I it know. It is an expensive city. It's, it's yeah, yeah, I, I, I agree with you. But it's, uh, it's and not not just Florence itself, but the surra- Tuscany that surrounds it is just an absolute beautiful place. And uh, as I say, I fell in love with it. I wish I'd gone there when I was younger, but... I'm making the most of it now. Now, the book's coming out. It's called Flood by Robert Fowler. That's you then. And it's coming out just before Christmas or maybe just, just before, after, just yeah? Just after, yeah. Okay. It's, 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 it's in all the, on all the sites, and they're saying it's two to three weeks or three to four weeks. So it's, oh, it's the first time I've ever done this. So I don't know how publications and all these. I'm a bit of an amateur at this. All right. And it's from Pegasus, um, and it's um, by yourself, who is a local author, so we should support you, obviously, and you're um, uh, obviously working towards other ideas in the future. So good luck with everything. Yeah.
And um, is there any particular place to uh, look for more info that you'd suggest? Well, if you go on to the Pegasus site, um, the, there's a link to a website that I've that I've got. I've got my own website now, it's, and um, so basically, I'm, I'm not great at things like this. But people have set things up. I've been I've had so much help from people that um, if they go on there, there's a website that tells you all about books and short stories that I've done, and just all right. And what's that then? Give us the website. Give me the website. Well, no, don't worry. It's author Robert Fowler. Yeah. Dot com. Right, you nearly forgot your website there, didn't you? <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. I did, it's all this technology is just. Great. I know. Well, yeah, that's right. Okay. Thank you very much indeed for chatting, uh, Robert Fowler, their local author. Thank you. Cheers. Bye bye.